Hi, welcome to Conversations with Creatives. This is powered by Create Birmingham and I'm Tanya Trotter, Communications Specialist at Create Birmingham. This week I'm excited to talk with Brian Johnson, who is from Crestwood and has done a beautiful series of photographs recently, um, curbside photographs of quarantine neighbors. And um, Brian, normally in the world pre-COVID, you were doing a lot of brand narrative photography. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the projects you normally work on? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for having me on. This is really cool what y'all do and creatives appreciate y'all very, very much. So great work and thank you. Um, yeah, honored to be here. I, I uh, have been a working photographer for the last 18 years. Uh, started out, really cut my teeth in the wedding and family world. Um, shot a lot of uh, weddings and family through my uh, brand, A Bride Photo. Um, that's Brian with a Y. Um, so A Bride Photo, like I said, for a long time, I've been involved in families' lives and um, capturing their lives, hopefully in a really emotive and thoughtful way. Um, and really in the last five years have um, kind of tacked on uh, Brian Johnson Studio, which is kind of my commercial brand narrative arm of my photography and um, hope to extend a very similar look to that work as well, um, which is highly relational, highly emotive, hopefully telling a story of, a, of an organization, um, uh, but typically that has like a really human element to it. Um, so that could be through telling uh, the story of an organization like a school. Um, I got a really, did a really cool project a few years ago with a, a national coffee company that was kind of talking about their culture. Um, I was set up to go do a really cool job with Alice Beach down at 30A. That was what was kind of on the horizon for me pre-COVID. So that style of work and also at the same time still shooting some weddings. So kind of keeping those brands separate, but those are kind of what I have kept focused on. Yeah. Well, I discovered your work through Instagram and mm -hmm. um, fell in love with the photos that you've recently been taking um, just from an aesthetic standpoint, but it's interesting that you use the term emotive because you really are telling a story and capturing the emotions of your neighbors during this time. Can you tell me kind of what inspired you to start yeah. and, and what's pushing you forward in the series? Absolutely. Um, well, probably similar to a lot of artists um, and people who are uh, producing work at this time, I've, have experienced what I experienced, which is watching um, what for a lot of people in my field is kind of peak season. You know, you think of April, you think of May, you think of June, and that's when either individuals or brands are like, oh, it's beautiful, let's shoot. So, um, so we've seen what has typically been peak season be eliminated in a lot of regards. Um, so that obviously was awful and really stinks um and uh yeah it was a really hard thing to deal with and this project with crestwood was really um an opportunity just to keep moving and to keep shooting um it's one thing to lose revenue it's also another thing to like stop being able to create so um if the revenue is on pause and that's not something at this time that um, I was able to, to do, I, I might as well continue to shoot. And obviously we've been given like unique restrictions, like everyone needs to stay home um, and I can't get close to people. So that obviously gives me like a really interesting set of parameters. Um, so I just thought, well, maybe I'll turn my efforts to my neighborhood. I've lived here for 15 years. Um, I walk these streets daily with my dog and with my family, thinking and preparing for shoots that aren't in this neighborhood. 
And now I've kind of have fresh eyes to see this neighborhood as like, well, what if this is the project? What if this is um, kind of where my, I turn my attention and my, my focus. Um, so uh, really it was an attempt, you know, the old adage, you can't steer a, a parked car. It was more like, I need to keep moving forward and I need to keep creating. And I don't really know for what purpose, but I, I want to start shooting, so. Yeah. Well, I think back on um, photography shows that I've seen, images I've seen in history books, yeah. where, you know, the depression is photo documented, mm -hmm. the Spanish flu, like all these moments throughout history. And I think that from maybe not necessarily a commercial standpoint, but from an artistic standpoint, it's it's important to capture these moments, the way people are living through them, the range of emotions that are felt. Yeah. And so I guess um, that leads me to my next question when you talk about range of emotions and kind of what you had planned for this season to look like for yourself. Yeah. What, it, what are some of the lows that you felt or some of the challenges that you have in the moment now, but also looking forward, and how do you think that other creatives might identify with that? Yeah. Um, well, the lows, I think just it's, um, it's hard not to get hung up on like, uh, like the lost revenue. It's hard not to just, um, like I think it's really easy to have a pity party, and sometimes, some days pity parties are like, completely necessary. I have a really good friend who through this has, has said like, Hey, you really need to mourn this. Like you need to stop. You don't, you're, you're trying to move forward. Um, but it's okay to stop and to let yourself grieve like what's happened because it really is a bummer. Um, so I'm really thankful for that word. Um, uh, that was the first part of your question. What was the second part of your question? I, um, how <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> how, can, how do you think that other creatives might identify or, or what have you found I guess I'm kind of reframing the question now. yeah yeah I'm sorry no it's fine um like everybody else I'm running with so many tabs over <laughs> um, and I always like that these interviews are conversational and not right. like right, right. Answers. but um I guess maybe where have you found some support in, yeah. or solidarity from your sure. creative community. Yeah. Um, I had a, a good friend this morning that I texted. I was like, man, I'm feeling low about some things. And he, he um, is in my building. So we, we met up outside on a park bench and I just like shared what I was going through. And he was able to share with me some things he was going through and thinking through. And there was, I think there's just peace that comes through being able to share some of that and not just completely absorb it um so that i i think i think just having this having people that you can really be honest about how you're feeling um that's that's been key it's not easy for me either i feel like it's easier for me to just kind of absorb and not share and keep moving forward but i've i've found that especially in this season that that's been a key for me so can I, it, can I loop back on something you said? Yeah, um, absolutely. So you talked about like these key moments, like you, th you talked about like the depression and um, these photographs that are kind of, you know, powerful. Are, yeah, are powerful. Uh, one uh, project, I just wanted to add an aside to that. There's a project that really inspired me that I've always loved um, that came out of, that the MoMA produced uh, post-World War II uh, called The Family of Man. Um, mm -hmm. It's this really awesome photo essay that shows like people of all different walks of life, um, so many different cultures, ethnicities, um, but showing like on a really base level, we all have the same emotions and the same things um, that we experience, whether it's love, whether it's, it's uh, um, anger, you know, the, the book is really, really cool and still in print. Um, but I, I had that on, on the front of my mind with this Crestwood project, just like 
oh, we're in a unique moment where like a lot of people have been leveled and like we've all been given the same parameters that like we all have to be home and like what are the things that unite us at this moment and um so that project specifically when you mentioned that like i just wanted to plug that project as well oh, i want to look that up i've heard of it but it's been a, it's been a while since i revisited that so um what has been the response from your neighbors is everyone suddenly brushing their hair and not wearing <laughs> hard? it's been funny I, you know some I've, I've started just like walking my dog with my camera so i kind of have uh people that i see outside and i'm just stopping them and shooting them and they have no they just like, there they are they've got to have their photo taken some people i've told like you know i'm going to give you a range of time and i'll swing by so it's been interesting some people prepare like you know dress well for it some people are just more natural and i think it's been a really cool mix of uh just trying to catch people of different walks of life and uh so yeah i've enjoyed that um do you think that you might expand outside of your neighborhood or have you thought yeah. about letting people book you for curbside portraits i've seen some photographers doing yeah. do all kinds of different things during this yeah. time that's a good question um definitely i i feel like there was a time where uh i wanted just to shoot and not give myself too many parameters and I didn't want to have to think too much about how to make it like financially um, beneficial for me. I, I really just kind of wanted to shoot on by what inspired me. Um, but as I've kind of like settled in, um, uh, I've kind of figured out how I want to do it. I also didn't know like would people want this and I pitch it. Is it insensitive to pitch things right now? Like, so that's kind of been a fine line. Um, but one cool thing uh, to kind of tie to what I want to do moving forward is I've, I've got some prints hanging up behind me. I've started, re, uh, I've got an Epson 3880 in my studio mm -hmm. and things had kind of gotten busy and I hadn't been printing on fine art paper in a while. So one cool thing with this project and like things slowing down is re-engaging with the printed image. Um, yeah. So I've, I've, I've tried to shoot and I've tried to come in uh, and edit and print something every day just as honestly personally I, I did it first just for myself just to be personally inspired and I've started sending photos to people and people are buying prints in fact today I'm launching like where Crestwood people can purchase fine art prints that I will print in studio um, I hadn't had any purchase option on the gallery and I'm, I'm going to launch that today. Um, and I'm about to launch uh, for people kind of within the, the Birmingham area that um, uh, like a kind of a special session where I'll come and I'll shoot and, but it's also tied to a print. Like I still feel like the print is really important. So um, that's, that's kind of where it's taken me a little bit of time to get there. Um, Cause I didn't, you know, it's hard to kind of predict how long I would be in this, but I'm also like, I don't know how long these parameters are going to be, be on us. And um, I wanted to lock in something that would be, that was inspiring for me. So I'm really excited about like shooting people and then printing it. So. I love that idea. I feel like my own observation during this time and kind of, what I, a silver lining that I hope comes out of everything is that there is this more intentional practice that everyone takes into everything they do. So yeah. whether it's, you know, kind of focusing in on everything you have and looking at quant the quality over quantity, you know, do we need as much as we think that we do um or can we do more with less you know even in the way we dress you know where are clothes coming from how can we support local makers um when we spend our money and so i think printing the act of printing photos is part of that slow life of like here is something beautiful and tangible we live in this digital world where everything is on social media and yeah. 
I have started actually printing my own just like family photos because yeah. I've had time to do it. Yeah, yeah. And it makes you feel like you have something concrete to hold on to. Yeah. Instead of just being like, here, let me show you my kids. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. It's funny. I mean, I'll print something off and I'll sit there and just, I mean, I could sit here and just stare at a wall. Like I just, the, the, these prints, like I, there's something about the printed image that, um, that is incredibly special. And that's been a huge blessing coming out of this to reconnect with, with that process. And I don't know what you're saying too. I've, I've had the thought, I mean, who knows where all of this will go and what will happen and how long we'll be um, living in light of these kind of new uh, parameters. But, uh, you know, you think of work, you know, when you're in a globalized world, like you think about like, oh, I'm going to fly here, I'm going to do this shoot and I'm going to, you know, hopefully I'm going to book this, and I'm going to drive there and uh, realizing like how much kind of rich soil and opportunity there is like within my backyard um, that sometimes I neglect and like, what if there's, what if there is work right here and I don't have to travel a long way to do it. Um, that's been like, I mean, who, like I said, I have no idea, I'm not predicting what the next month or even 18 months is going to look like, but I'm also trying to have eyes to see like, I may be in this for a little while, <laughs> I should probably settle in, so. Well, I think everybody is hopeful for a return to some sense of normalcy. I don't know if we'll yeah. have, I don't think that we'll have the same sense of normalcy, but a new sense yeah. of normalcy. And then yeah. I think that, um, I mean, I read something recently where it was like, after we begin to reemerge into this new world where maybe we'll all just be nicer to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Absolutely. we will value the things that exist in our own communities. And on that note, yeah. um, I mean, you kind of touched on this earlier about, you know, being able to talk to your friend mm -hmm. and just sort of find solidarity there. Are there any points of pride um, any highs out of this situation and points of pride or points of pride in your community that you yeah. have felt? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. I mean, I, I think even just meeting my neighbors and seeing, uh, just hearing about what, what people are doing. Um, my dirt, I'll just give you like a few cool stories that have been, that have just left me really grateful. Um, one of my neighbors um, who I got to photograph, he's um, really tried to find people that he could help out at this time. He was walking at Crestwood Park one day and ran into this seamstress who, um, it was connected to a friend and they started talking and came out that like she had lost her job. and. Uh, he hired her to make, he just paid, like told her, I'm going to pay you to make a hundred masks um, and gave her work. Like in that moment, she was able to produce um, something that people needed. And then he took them all and like distributed them around the neighborhood. Um, so being able to see stuff like that is in incredibly encouraging. Um, uh, I had a friend who told me uh, that they weren't really like that COVID wasn't really going to impact their work and that uh, they wanted to support their artist friends with their money. And they hired me to come uh, do a shoot for them uh, for like a website he was building. Um, that's like, that's to me incredibly encouraging. Um, it's encouraging to do this interview. I mean, it's cool to realize that um, that this work is resonating. It encourages me to keep keep going. Um, I've been really encouraged just by the artist community and some of the stuff I've seen, like how creative different artists have gotten um, at this time. I think the art. I think we're going to look back and see um, that some of the art that's created at this time is just going to 
really, really rock us in a really awesome way. And I, I've already been impacted by it. Um, so. Well, I think that's, that's awesome. And that's really hopeful. You have a great sense of optimism looking forward, which I hope, I hope resonates with everybody else. I hope that we all start to look forward with that sense yeah. of optimism. I personally feel, and I'm biased because Birmingham is my hometown, but yeah. I've always felt that there's this deep well of creative talent here. And there's an incredible sense of community. People gen yeah. genuinely want, seem to want to help each other out, publicize each other, say, this is cool. This is what's cool about my community. And yeah. that civic pride, I think, is, go is something unique that we have and something that w dictates how we all will be um, moving forward. And I hope, I hope so anyway. I agree. I'm, I'm very thankful for Birmingham and I'm thankful for my community. And um, I, I've, uh, I told my wife, I feel like I'm living my life now with my hands open and that's how can I serve and how can I work? What are those things? Where should I be guided? And also receiving, um, cause I've been blessed in so many ways by people, um, who have given to me at this time. It, it was completely unexpected. And, um, so I, I've noticed that posture as well from so many of my, my friends and, and family and, um, uh, Pretense has been dropped <laughs> in so many ways. Uh, and with that, people have gotten real and have, have uh, and been encouraging to tell people how they feel about them and remind them what they, what they mean to them. And um, I've tried to do the same, just text my, my friends and, and family and just remind them how much I care about them, and especially my artist friends, uh, telling them how much I love their work and to keep going because it's that type of encouragement has been a huge blessing to me as well, so. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thank yeah. you so much for talking to us today. Thank and, you, Tanya. Um, definitely send me some links that we can share okay. with um, our audience so that Great. you can check out your work, maybe book you for Excellent. some portraits and, okay. and other things when, as we move forward and, and get back to work in a little more normal yeah. so um, yeah. all right thanks brian